Another form of defense is the landmine, a small explosive device buried underground close to the surface that can be triggered by nearby motion, tripwire, direct pressure or remote control and is usually placed in a large group or minefield to deny passage of people or equipment from a certain area or channel enemy forces into a chosen zone. Minefields can also guard borders or beaches, roads or salient points such as the Korean Divide or Demilitarized Zone, DMZ, currently the world's highest concentration of landmines. The history of landmines goes back to pre-explosive days, when small pits were dug and hidden to catch a foot or break the ankle of an enemy combatant. These were enhanced with sharpened sticks, sometimes treated with a poison or rotten garbage. Caltrops were small iron barbs scattered on the ground to delay advancing troops. With the advent of gunpowder and explosives, the Chinese placed bamboo stalks filled with black powder and iron and buried in the ground. Some were triggered manually by a hidden assailant. Self-detonating bombs were described as early as 1277, some using a flint and wheel device to ignite the main charge once triggered by a passing soldier. In Europe, landmines were laid with trip wires connected to a snap horns or flintlock igniter. These were utilized in the defense of major fortifications. American Confederate troops built the first modern mechanically fused anti-personnel mines in 1862. Captain Raines had employed explosive booby traps against Indians in the Seminole Wars and developed the Raines mine. Over 2,000 were deployed by the end of the war. In 1908, Andrew Schaff designed the modern proximity landmine. 